Hi there. Today we'll take a look at the first figure from Mecha's Series 17 of Predator Figures. And this is another figure from the AVP movie or the AVP line of figures. The Elder. And here we have the Elder Predator inside the typical NECA style AVP box with the blue logo on the front, a bio about the Elder and the movie, and the other figures available in Series 17. So here we have the figure outside the packaging, and my first impression is that the Elder Predator is immediately recognizable with his red cape and his long grey dreadlocks. It's a very good looking figure, but there are also a lot of parts that we have seen several times before with the other AVP prints. But let's begin with a look at the accessories. First, we have this unique spear, a representation of the spear that the Elder gives at the end of the movie. So that's cool. Then we have his bio mask. And it's also a very good looking and well sculpted piece with a lot of details on the outside and also on the inside. And then that is pretty much it except for the two small wrist blades here that I have already put in the wrist gauntlets. And he is of course able to put some of the longer wrist blades from the other figures in his wrist gauntlet as well. For a size comparison, here we have the Elder next to the still largest Predator, the clan leader on the left, and then the old Elder on the right. So the Biomask is not only a piece that this Predator has with him, he's actually able to wear it and that's pretty cool. I actually like the masked look as well. Let's proceed with the other details. Here we have the unmasked head, and I see no real likeness to the Elder Predator in the movie, but it's still a pretty cool head sculpt with a lot of cool details. And then he is one of the more heavier armored AVP Preds. As you can see here, the chest plate and a lot of trophies. Also good details on his belt here, and his wrist computer, and the wrist gauntlet on the right hand. Then the typical AVP armor pieces here on the legs and the heavy shin guards. It's all been seen before but it's still very well made. Then we have the cape here and it hides the back of his body except for the dreads and they are painted black and grey. If we lift the cape again we see the heavy armor here and some of the parts that hinder the articulation, and we'll get back to that in a minute. But the cape itself, well, it's not articulated or with bendy wires or anything, it's just a cape, and it's, I guess it's okay. It's removable technically, because you can remove the head and then remove the cape afterwards. We get pretty much the same articulation as all the other AVP Predators. The head doesn't move that much, I think, but we still get double-jointed elbows and double-jointed knees. And the wrist computer here opens and closes as well. Well, we don't get that much movement from the upper part of the body because of the heavy armor, but there is still a little movement. And his legs are pretty good articulated, no surprises. We know what to expect from the AVP line of press. So, for now, I'll leave you with my opinion about the figure. Before this wave, I think that this Elder Predator was the figure that I was looking forward to the most. 
and now that I, that I have him, I won't say that I'm disappointed or anything, but it's still a lot of stuff that we have seen before. And also, there could have been a lot of extras that Mecha decided not to include, like a short spear or extra hands. But with all that being said, I think the Elder Predator is a generally good figure, looks good on display, with or without the biomask. So, in the end, I still recommend to pick up this figure. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.